Hey guys, Motor Car Nut. Again, today's video, we're talking about why your car is overheating after you replace something in the cooling system, whether it be the radiator, the water pump, or even a simple uh, a thermostat, or even a simple cooling hose. You replace it, maybe there was a leak or whatever, and now the car is overheating. Well, the number one reason for that to happen, if the car did not overheat before, is that you have air in the system. And believe it or not, a lot of times it could be tricky to get the air out. Uh, each car has its own procedure, okay, to bleed. Sometimes they have a bleeder valve. Sometimes you have to crack an air line. And a telltale sign that you have air in the system and the car is overheating or it's starting to overheat is that you put the, the heater on hot. At idle, you feel the temperature of the heat. If the heat is not hot, raise the RPM about to 2000. When you raise the RPM to 2000 and now it's starting to get hot, that's a telltale sign you have air in the system. Because as you're raising it, the your water pump is working even faster and it's pushing the water through the lines. Let me show you the heater core lines. Like over here, there's heater core lines in and out and it, it just or it radiates a little, the engine's getting even more hotter and it radiates a little bit more through there. So that's a telltale sign that you have air in the system. And if, it, if you have air in the system, what you can do is find the hose that's the, the highest point. Usually, on every car it's different, it'll be over here. If there's no bleeder, what you can do is just open it, crack the seal, not the seal, I'm sorry, the, the hose, you don't want to crack the seal. The hose clamp, crack it, let a little bit of uh, coolant come out. Uh, you can rev it up just a little bit until it comes out in a straight stream. All right, tighten it back down. All right, and see if that helps. If not, what you're gonna to wanna to do is if you have time or if this is at night, the best way to do it at night is to shut the car off and in the morning, you come in, open up the radiator cap, and you're going to see that all the, the engine sucked in all the coolant and all the little crevices where there might have been air. And then you open the cap with the car ice cold, and you fill it up. And you fill, fill up your uh, overflow tank or reservoir to the proper line. There's going to be there's going to be a line on it. It's going to say. You see, this one is, is hot, I mean cold, full. Actually, I have to little, add a little bit more up to that line. That's what you do. And then close it up, start the car, and see how she goes. Now, in the morning, if you have to add a lot of coolant in here, I mean, it was full when you did it the, the night before, and now you have to add a lot of coolant, that's the good sign. That means that it's sucked through, it's all settled in all the system. And now when you put the uh, coolant in there, you're filling it back up. That's how much more, that's how much air was in there. And you should be good to go. So that, a lot of times people are baffled. Like air can really do that. It can make the car have crazy symptoms. It can, like you're driving it, it's going to overheat on you. Because the air, it can't push the air. Air has to be out. All right? So now you know. All right, guys, motor car up. Please subscribe. Uh, any questions? About the video, leave them below. I answer all my questions pertaining to the video. If you learned something, I would appreciate a super thanks. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.